the Lake of Murray has 40 days more summer than any other part of Scotland. Glen Murray is located in a town called Elgin. Speyside is a very famous whisky distilling area. We have the mountains, we have the rivers, the glens. We're also very fortunate to have a fertile area where barley can be grown. When you arrive at the distillery, the first thing you will see, and it's probably the most important thing, is the water source. Without water, there is no whisky. For me, the, the role of master distiller is quite wide and varied. With only five master distillers in the history, the knowledge has been passed on from one to the other, hand in hand, finally to me as the fifth. It is a must that I ensure that the time-honoured traditions are continued. That does not stop me having the freedom to put my own expression. We have a wonderful access to many different types of cask and wood that I can use to mature Glen Murray and create different flavours, but whilst retaining the heart and character of Glen Murray. The team at Glen Murray have a great pride in their work. Glen Murray is, is a small distillery. It is self-sufficient. We do everything on the site. It's very much a, almost a family affair from start to finish. Glen Murray is a welcoming whisky. It is a whisky that is open to everyone to try. There are many different expressions, so there are many different tastes. The backbone of Glen Murray spirit is whisky that is matured in ex-bourbon casks from America. It yields a wonderfully well-balanced and rounded whisky. I have to look into the future, I have to use my vision, but I have to start that now because I'm developing products for the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years some of which I won't see in my working lifetime. Every bottle of Glen Murray tells a story. The story of how that whisky has been made, the people that have been involved, and myself selecting the different casks that I've used. There's a little bit of heart and soul in every bottle of Glen Murray. <laughs>